Hi everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW, and all good warriors know there's a time to run and there's a time to fight. And uh, most of the time you'll realise when that actually is. Sometimes you'll get it right, sometimes you'll get it wrong. This is one of the opportunities that I thankfully got it right um, for my sake. And then somebody else took the word chicken run to the literal and to the extremes and denied me a medal that I would have cherished after this game. But that's my build. It's space fishy. It's full stealth, 4.8 concealment on this one. So we can play and close and get those torpedoes off. I have been trying it with a full torpedo reload and speed on it, um, which is fun as well, but you're giving away a little bit with that one so we're on north domination i'm just having a look through the team sheets there see what i might be up against and now we are going to do the job of pushing and spotting but of course when i'm in a ninja boat it is going to give us an aircraft carrier so, knowing that the aircraft carrier starts on the opposite side of the map, I'm going to do what I can to push in on this side of the map, see what we can spot, and hopefully, um, I say, have some support to help take this cap. But the only ship that is uh, across there, or across here, with me is running straight into the island. There is a Shan horse that does nothing but scream for assistance the whole time, even though he's the ship that's furthest back on the map. And um, what I will say is that there is a player in here that actually GG'd me um, at the end of this game. And he was on our team. And I think between he and I, we pretty much um, did the majority of the hard work here. And um, it was nice to get um, a message from him. But there's the cruiser that spawned with me. He has decided not to come anywhere near this capture point. I'm staying clear of those planes because I know he's going to be looking for me. And at a time that is right, I am going to look to push this cap. It's obvious there's a destroyer out here because there's something there, a shadow left by him being detected. He's out to my right. I don't really know where he is but I've got to play careful. I imagine he's waiting for me to touch the cap and then he's going to come in and hunt me. But which of the two destroyers it is, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention when he got spotted. But red team there have pushed straight in and taken C cap. Nobody is going after B because everybody hates it, which is why I like to take it because you can split the opposing team down the middle if you take B cap. And it is very difficult for them to get in and contest it. But here we go. Plane's coming in, so has that carrier already made it all the way along to our side of the map? I know I'm going to get spotted. I've got rubbish AA. I'm in my smoke. And um, it's not a place I want to be. There we go. Bombs get dropped on me. Thankfully, they miss. We put another spread of torpedoes out there, hoping to catch something. Probably going to catch nothing, but we've got an Agato coming round the corner as well. So I find those a little bit wide of the corner, thinking he's going to have to turn round into it. All the while spotted by these planes, but they disappear. So thank goodness for that. But we are now contested on this cap, so it's time to pull off. And this is what I was saying about it's, it's okay to run. It's okay to run, but you've got to have a plan. Now, my plan here, because I haven't got any support, is to let Red Team push into this cap. We can see roughly where their ships are going to be down on that bottom corner. It's an obvious spot. But if they are going to get confident, they are going to try and push through on this flank because C cap is always a bit of a stalemate. And generally, blue team can get the advantage pushing round through C cap. So all I've got to do is be a little bit clever with what I do across here on A because I am on my own. It doesn't look like there's any other ship here. The only ship that was with us, the cruiser, He's dead, he's gone, he's back to port. And I'm going to fluff these torpedoes, but 
you know you can't always judge exactly what is going on but i say i'm going to fluff those torpedoes um the guard who probably knows he's targeted he's pushing out but then i thought no he's going to turn back in and try and give himself some cover from the island isn't he so i turn my aa off and um, pull out and realize that um, they're pushing through on b as well uh, pretty much our entire team is across there on c cap and although those torpedoes miss the negato what they do hit is one of the destroyers and that gives me a dev strike now that mr negato is out on his own and i've got a lot of very lovely torpedoes currently being polished and loaded into the tubes he's in trouble he probably knows he's in trouble but he has got the cap they know they've broken this flank there's nobody in the middle there's nobody on this side so to speak and i think that they think i'm running away but the time of my chicken run is over and now is my time to fight so here we go we know that the negato is going to keep pushing we lead the torpedoes a little bit because he's come around the corner so he's probably going to pick up a little bit of speed and um, putting a little bit of a split across the torpedoes uh, widens the spread and gives you more chance of hitting your target but a very um, lucky dev strike there with a the torpedo sailing straight into the um, destroyer but then the negato just keeps on going in a straight line and gets absolutely trolleyed now even though there is a guy now out there and i could run after him with my engine boost and try to torpedo them the chances are he'd turn and be going away from us so we'd constantly be chasing them the important part for me now in this game is to cement our lead and come into this capture point and take this capture point because we've got to see if we take a they've either got to push hard which is something they're not going to be able to do given that our team are breaking out through ccap that guy is now is not going to turn around and come back in this direction which means that i can now push this flank and we can squeeze them between a and c caps and um, it's not going to be very pleasant for red team now i do know the person that is um in the red team carrier Dortmunder Andy I've played some games with him before a very long time ago and I think he knows obviously where I am having spotted me earlier and as I said there's a time to run and a time to fight but I think he's already picked his time to run and he's running fast and he's running hard because we now have a two cap advantage over red team their alabama is stuck there in the middle there's still another destroyer out here somewhere where he is i don't know could be right up there with the alabama but we are now going to push through this side we're going to move in towards b cap if that alabama pushes through the ships out to the north but there he is it looks like he might actually be turning around and coming back this way so what do we do there is that the carrier all the way out there no it's the weimar oh god i forgot he was in the game and i'm like oh no weimar this isn't good because if i get spotted by the carrier i'm shafted that white weimar will absolutely drill me to pieces and he's twisting and turning so somebody's obviously got him in their sights that means i've just wasted two salvos of torpedoes and it's like oh, crap what am i doing now weimar's heading in this direction he wants this cap back and yeah i need to run and i need to run fast but i've got a minute for my engine boost to come back to me and i'm thinking please somebody get some shots on that guy but there we go he's coming straight for me i don't know whether the destroyer is pinging the map weimar turns straight again heading in 
between B and A. And I'm looking for the uh, torpedo reload. What can we do? Can we put a widespread out on them? Are we actually going to get a widespread on them? And then there's a nice little surprise comes in. And he goes back to port in fine style. Absolutely and 100% dev struck. So that has me breathing a little bit easier. Alabama picks himself up a clear sky, so the carrier has very obviously been throwing a lot of planes in his direction, but now the Alabama is going to be turning towards me, I think. And so I'm like, okay, what have we got for range? Where do we push in? There's still a destroyer here. We don't know where he is. But honestly, we are going to bump this guy and... It seems like, you know, I'm just sailing around in open water and not really doing a lot. But all the time that I'm playing, I've got these thoughts and processes going on in my head on where can I best be? What, what are my torpedo ranges? What are my gun ranges? Which ships are left? Where can I position to get myself to keep these guys spotted, to put my torpedoes on, to be the most effective ship? And you'll notice that my... Um, perceptive indicator is slightly off to the left which means that the destroyer is closer than 8.3 kilometers so we're going to widespread those torpedoes out there i don't know what this destroyer has got left on him but there he is i'm spotted he spotted i've got a smoke available and uh, i'm going to use the dope in a smoke trick because i'm going to hit the brakes i'm going to hit that smoke he's fired his guns and is still spotted that means i can get my guns on we're going to wait for another reload he's on fire he's burning boom that's another shot we're now going to come out of that smoke he's smoking stay on him he's fixed his um fire but that is another fire as we take out the alabama with a torpedo he's rolling out of his smoke screen and this not that going to be the end of him but his engine's gone now he can't repair he's knackered he's turning to get another set of guns on me but he pops beforehand and i stick in a final salvo just to be sure of that we're only on 90,000 damage but we've taken care of four ships we have played and won our capture point we have pushed through we have basically boxed in the red team that were pushed across the map. We've taken care of those as well. And now we're going to swing in and we're going to hopefully get a cap assist on this one because it's all goes towards your base XP, which goes towards your credit. And if you grind on a ship that's uh, you know, a tech tree ship, the more XP you get, the better. So here we go. We're going to sail in and we are going to be able to pick up a cap assist on this. And I think this is the Shan horse that just sailed around forever. And is it the Shan horse or is it the guy that actually GG'd me? Because the Shan horse was frankly annoying. But there we go. Cap assist to go with our solo cap. And now we are looking for the carrier. But look, he is all the way across there on the map. There are two minutes to play. Even though I've got the long range torpedoes on this, I'm not going to be able to reach this guy. And this is what disappointed me the most about this game. I did a little bit of a chicken run at the beginning, but I did my chicken run for a purpose which was to open up the capture point to draw the red team in and then to strike to the best of my ship's ability i got a little bit lucky with that dev strike on the destroyer at the start but i think we still could have potentially taken out the battleship even if we hadn't gotten the destroyer the carrier is way over on the other side of the map so he has left his chicken run for much later in the game and he is hightailing it as fast as he can to the opposite side of the map but he ends up dead or did we get the thousand points 
Yep, we reached maximum points. So there we go. And how did we end up for the team? Over 3,000 base XP. So that's the um, the Flander that GG'd me. Seven kills between us. The Karga picks up one for eight. Their carrier survived the match. I hope you've enjoyed this one. A little bit of talk through on the thought processes behind playing a destroyer and playing a capture point so i hope you have enjoyed it if you have hit the like button leave me a comment hit the subscribe button if you aren't a subscriber and stick around click a link and watch one of these videos until next time take care and goodbye